what it is what it is peoples I don't know why I find the need to have to scream into these videos like you can't hear me oh my goodness what am I doing here I don't know what I'm doing well I'm just gonna close the video like this can you see me now hey I just want to share with you um, my favorite spices that I use on my foods to flavor all of my foods because everybody likes to think that healthy food is not flavorful it doesn't taste good it's gross no it does taste very good it is super wonderful you can be so creative with it um, the only reason why a lot of people do not like healthy foods or can you have to adjust to the taste of healthy foods because you have been eating crap your whole life I'm sorry I hate to say it but eating french fries eating cheeseburgers pizza um, some pizzas can be healthy if within moderation not a whole 16 inch pie um, let me see you know when you're eating um, all those cakes and cookies and candies and chocolate bars and all of that garbage refined sugars and refined carbohydrates that puts it's um okay here's a perfect example you know a person that doesn't do drugs and then all of a sudden at a party decides to smoke crack with a friend well she never craved it before right well now she's addicted to crack that's exactly what refined sugars and refined carbohydrates do to you it is an addiction it makes you man before I stopped eating all the sugars refined sugars I could look at chocolate and my mouth would literally water and I would get the ache and pain right here in my jaws over the weekend I spent yesterday with my children for you know for the Easter holiday and I bought my son um, a solid chocolate bunny and they had ice cream now I don't eat that but that's what they chose and I didn't even drool I, I don't I mean I didn't even want it it didn't phase me I just looked at them they were like mom you don't want any of this and I was like nope I don't eat it I don't eat that mess anymore because it's crap anyway but this I love these because um, these do not have salt so table salt is really really bad for you if you're going to eat salt I eat a lot of salt um, I don't have my pack. I, I think it's empty and I threw it away, so I apologize for that. I don't uh, eat table salt at all. I only eat pink Himalayan salt because it's high in minerals and or uh, sea salt, the Celtic salt. So, yeah. These spices, Southwest Chipotle is one of my favorites. These are the Mrs. Dash. No, I'm not promoting her company. I'm only telling you the spices I like to put on my food. One of my favorites, lemon pepper. I put this on my chickens and then I squeeze some real lemon on it. Extra spicy. So this has got like all the really, really spicy um, chili peppers in it. And then spicy jalapeno. Yum. So, I mean, I just wanted to share that with you and then bam making me some chicken wings I'm gonna eat two of those for my dinner because I've already had breakfast and lunch it's dinner time now guys look it's not hard it really is not hard okay please all you have to do is eat real food real food cut out the garbage and start buying real food if you're not sure, I tell you what, I will start um, doing my grocery haul, li um, my grocery haul videos again, um, and then also my cooking videos and show you what I'm cooking with. Hold on here. Let me give you a little insight on my refrigerator here in my truck, and that doesn't mean look at my dirty truck, okay? <laughs> 
so all right sorry about the crazy video here so here I have my eggs and I have I make my own um, bread from flax seed meal coconut flour and eggs um, these are my fat bombs these are coconut and coconut uh, um, butter fat bombs the next ones I'm gonna make with some uh, Kerrygold butter I have my packets for the week of cauliflower that's mixed cauliflower, rainbow cauliflower is what they call it. Um, I bought a rotisserie chicken and separated it all up. And this is for my salads. So I put, this is four ounces of rotisserie chicken that um, I put in my salads. I have my salads all pre-made. So when I have my 24 hour downtime or 15 or 16 hours, something like that, I never take a 34 hour. But when I have a 24 hour or a long period of time, I am able to pre-make my salads and they don't get soggy, okay? And uh, I went ahead and steamed me up, um, like what was it, three pounds of broccoli, three or four pounds of broccoli, and I separated it into two cup servings. So each of these bags, these are super expensive. Yes, they are, but they're perfect for um, saving space and um, and uh, measuring out your portions because I'm just now getting into portion control I have been eating all I've been wanting to eat for what th four or five months now now it's time for portion control this is a half pound of grass-fed um, ground beef uh, I really like the 80-20, but all they had at that Walmart I went to was um, 85-15, which is okay. It's still good. So, um, and then this is fresh cauliflower. I haven't cooked it yet. That was what I had left. So I just went ahead and um, broke it up. And this is pork steak. Yes, yum, 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 yum. I have it cut up in like four ounce sections and there's probably about four meals in this one uh, quart size Ziploc bag and the best thing I love about it is I open it up I take out the piece or usually I'll cook two pieces at a time I may have a piece for breakfast and then for dinner because I'm gonna eat that chicken for um, for lunch so or you know whatever but anyway um, and then I can reseal it and suck the air right back out of the last two pieces that are in there. And then Coco, bonus, she gets the bone when I get to cooking the piece that has the bone in it. Um, and then this is my homemade salad dressing that I have. It is, give me one second here. Right now it's all separated, but if I just take it and agitate it like this, and pretend that you're choking somebody that has pissed you off and it'll agitate real nice <laughs> just like that this has salt pepper minced garlic um, I have fresh lemon in it I actually put the lemon rind I also have apple cider vinegar in this and then I have four different types of oil I have unrefined um, organic olive oil I have flaxseed oil uh, palm oil and also avocado oil so yeah I don't know I just went crazy on that that's all so that is let me pull out one of my salads just so you can see let me see ah hopefully I don't knock the eggs out give me one quick second here I'm gonna zoom you in don't fall, don't fall. Okay, so just to give you an idea what's in my salad, I buy the 50-50, which is 50% spring mix and 50% spinach. And then I also buy the romaine hearts. And I take and I cut up the romaine hearts. And I put those on the bottom. Then I put the 50-50 on top. And I have the parsley, which is so delicious. Parsley and cilantro. I put with that because they're um, superfoods and they ha they're really high in fiber as well. One hard boiled egg, which my hard boiled egg, I'm so sorry. I cannot peel eggs for the life of me. Um, 
This has probably maybe three cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes cut in half. I've got like two or three little slivers of bell pepper, not too much, but I have four pieces of celery, which really comes out to about one stalk of celery. Now I love spicy, so I do have some jalapeno in mine, just a couple of pieces. Just, you know, when you get a bite, you get a little bit of heat. And then instead of using um, the white or yellow onion, I bought the green table onions and I cut it up and I put those in there and um, and that's my salad and I made those for the whole week and I can have two a day if I want you know one for lunch one for dinner um, another great idea that I do um, with my salad like I did today for my salad I um, oh, Lord have mercy hard whenever you take something out and try to put it back. I actually took um, a serving, two cups of my steamed broccoli I had cold and I put it on my salad and then with the dressing and it, it was so delicious. Very, very delicious. So I'm trying to put all this stuff back. Now, here's another idea. Okay. This one I have to get to. That's my cooler. Very soon, maybe next month, I will be buying the refrigerator. Um, I, but I've had that cooler for two years, and it has not done me wrong yet. So I just have to get through. When I go home in May, I'm getting my boyfriend to build me a shelf to put this stuff on. This is my deep freezer, guys. Mira, I don't have to buy groceries probably for a month. I've got, these are the legs to the rotisserie chicken that I bought. I still have um, other pieces of rotisserie chicken in here. I'm just going to try to pull a little piece. Look at this. Lamb. These are lamb breast. It, it said lamb breast, but these were ribs, man. Yes. There's like two boned ribs in that, but look at all that meat and all that fat. Yum, yum. There's my other pound of the organic grass-fed ground beef. That's the only kind of ground beef I will buy. I have three pounds of Kerrygold butter in here because I will use one of these blocks either every day or within a day and a half, definitely. So, and then I have my pork steaks right here. Seven pounds of chicken wings, baby. Yes, I do. Got seven pounds of chicken wings and more lamb. Lamb, lamb, lamb. And, um, all the broccoli, the, you know, the broccoli that I steamed, there it is. I separated into portions, two cup portions. Same with the, the uh, rainbow cauliflower. I bought frozen, so it was already, you know, steamed pretty much. And um, I can either just heat it up or thaw it out and throw it on my salad. That's it. Look at all this room I still have in here. Bam, I'm like all the way in the back. I still have lots of room to put um, some more meat. So, yeah, it's not hard, guys. It really isn't hard. Um, it seemed hard when I first started out in the industry. I thought eating Subway every day, twice a day was healthy. And my blanket gets caught up in my doors there. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm about to close this one more time. Okay, so um, I wanted to share with you my spices and then also my, my refrigerator and my freezer. Um, I have tons and tons and tons of avocados. There's the bag right there if you can see it. Tons of avocados. I buy like three or four of those bags at a time. And then I also have these jugs right here of water, and I have two more up front. But anyway, I, it's not hard. It really isn't hard. Focus. Write you out a shopping list of what you like to eat of real foods, okay? You see? I don't have no junk in there. I eat no dairy. The only dairy I eat are eggs, which do not come from a cow. And I eat um, the Kerrygold grass-fed butter. 
Now that I do eat, but that's the only dairy I eat. If I want cream, I don't drink coffee, but I do make my fatty teas, um, which aren't even from a tea. It's just basically cinnamon and uh, vanilla bean powder or lemon and turmeric is what I drink. And, um, you know, I'll add a couple drops of stevia and um, uh, the butter, coconut oil. Uh, if you write you out a list and um, get your basics, you have to get your meat and then get your vegetables, right? Your avocados, get your vegetables. Um, what I get, I get, uh, I buy spinach separate. I also buy the 50-50 spring mix um, and I use that for my salad and then spinach I use to cook with my meals, okay? And I get oh, lots of broccoli, I love broccoli, lots of cauliflower because I love cauliflower. I don't, I don't eat that much carrots because they have a lot of sugars in them. Even though it's natural sugars, they're high in sugar. Um, so I, I'm very limited with the, like I'll eat maybe two or three of the little baby carrots, but that's about it. Um, onion, I, I prefer onion raw, but sometimes I will cook it and I try not to cook it too much because they caramelize, um, especially in the butter. One of my favorite things. Tomatoes, they're better raw because they do um, turn high. They do get real sugary if you cook them. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's simple. I eat a lot of different foods and I'm, I have not craved. It has been since November that I did a five day water fast and I detoxed from sugars and carbohydrates. I have not craved sugars or carbohydrates in six months. Here it is. It's like April. So five and a half months. Um, it's almost May. I'm just saying. And look at my body, cause you could tell that I used to love to eat that sugar. That's right. So, anyway, love, peace, chicken grease. I hope this gave you some great information, and I will talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe, comment. You guys know what to do. Bye.